conditioning class with myself and Ali here from Elevation. So we're going to get started, but once again, make sure you have your weight situated, your mat. I just want to start off up top, warm up with the weights. I want to get the arms and shoulders warmed up a little bit. So let's go ahead and start off with lateral to a front shoulder raise. Here's the front view of it. Take your time. You're going to start the warm up. Starting off, warming your shoulders up a little bit. Now, me personally, I like to keep a slight bend in my elbows. Better lock my elbows out. A slight bend in the elbows. I'll give you lateral view so you can see where my back and my shoulders are. Slight bend in my knees. Take the pressure off the little part of my back. We got 15 seconds. Keep rolling with me until take it down to the floor. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Give me this last one. Give me out. Up front. All right. Let's take it down to the ground. As we take it down to the floor, here's what we're going to work. Hang the camera down just a little bit. We're going to go right to sit up. Three jumps with the weight. We're going to keep both weights glued together. Bend the knees. Come down to the floor. Start with the weight behind you. As you sit up, reach you straight up. Towards the ceiling, eyes, chin, straight up towards the ceiling. Once again, try to keep those weights glued together. Keep your heels planted on the floor as you sit up that formation. So this is on the clock. This time, full range of motion for full extension. 15 seconds. Day. Back to the ground. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, we're going to keep this next move strictly body weight. So, with this next interval coming up, we're going to put ourselves in a push up position. But here's your demo. As I put myself in a push up position, I'm going to take the left hand and reach back to the opposite foot on the opposite side. If I can't touch that foot, that doesn't matter. The whole goal is to get yourself moving in that direction. Keep the core tight. Keep the back nice and straight. We're on the clock. Let's work. Also, be mindful of the hands and wrists. Keep the wrists nice and straight. When you come back down to your start position. Straighten the back up. Tighten the loose up. Also, get a squeeze in your core. Again, it's all body weight control. Push up, I'm in a push up punch position. 15 seconds. Take your time. Try to get that opposite hand. Reach back to the back part of that foot. And give me this last one here. And switch. Take it back down, grab both weights, put them together. We got another lap. Again, drive up to the weight, full range of motion. Even on the way back down, control your weight, your body weight. Breathe at the top. 15 seconds. Then we're going back for another lap. Five, four, three, two. Who knew? If you want more of a challenge with this, bring the weight along the way. Going back to that same formation. Put yourself in a push-up position. This time, I'm going to add the weight. All right? Let's roll with it. Again, I'm just dragging that weight down to reach that foot in that direction. I'm still focusing on when I get back to the start position. Tighten my glutes, tightening the core. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Like so, on that muscle group working that you're targeting, that you're aiming for. By four, 
Three, two, one. Grab a quick drink if need be. Moving on. So let's bring ourselves back down. Keep both weights. This time, we'll just straighten legs out, straighten the arms back behind you, right? We're gonna do two moves in one. Here's your first move. Get up, climb that ladder, come back down. We're gonna go left, right. So that's our sequence coming up. Two moves, one clock, set of weights. Let's work. Left. Back to the start. The hands to meet the feet. Whatever your range of motion will allow you to do. Make you do what it do. When you do it. Just keep this running. On the clock. The clock is officially running. Take a break as need be. Not work. 20 second mark. And count. Put a pace that you can sustain and maintain. 10 seconds. Ah. Woo, that was fun. Now, moving on. So, you still want to utilize the weights. And both weights, sitting tall on the mat. So, with this next move, you can either do it with weight or body weight. Cross your knees, sit tall, with your hands available. You want to come down, the mat, push back, where I keep my hands ready for the impact when you're going forward. Keep in mind, when I went down, I'm not going to push up. I'm going to press back with my arms to get myself back on top. All right? So, Go through it again, go at your own pace, take your time, let's work. If you don't feel comfortable going all the way down with your chest and your stomach down to the floor. Go midway. You can stop here and push it back up. Go within your comfort room. Twenty seconds to go on the clock. Once again, this is a slow, controlled movement. 10 second mark. And time. So we're gonna take it back to the top. Let's go back to the same core sequence. We did two moves in one, and then we come back to this formation we just completed. Hang tough. Remember, everything is extended straight. Opposite side, opposite side. All we're doing is repeating that, running that back. Again, roll yourself on back down. Be explosive on the way up. And that balance, maintain that control on the way down. 15 seconds. And count, come on. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Take it back. Once again, get yourself ready. So you have two options. You can either go midway and stop your momentum, push yourself back up, or go all the way down to the ground, whatever you're comfortable with. Enough talking. Let's work. Keep in mind, I'm not doing a push up. I'm actually pushing myself back away from the mat, away from the floor. So it lines my back. Chest and shoulders straight up. 20 seconds. Take advantage of it because the last time you see this is that. You threw it. I'll hold back. 10 seconds. All right. Five, four, two, one. Once again, grab a quick drink if need be. If not, we're moving on. All right, take it back down to the floor, shall we? Some more core work. 
One weight is needed. Then everything out straight. Here's your demo. As I sit up, pass that weight to the left, bring the right up, then we drop back down. So once again, here's your demonstration. If I go to the left leg, pass underneath, bring that right leg underneath, then we drop down. Here we go. Down. Going back down slowly to the floor. Not quick trying to hurry get out of the way because after a while it starts to burn. Embrace it. Don't hide, don't run away from it. No point. Wee. 20 second mark. Love it, buddy. Got it, man. Come on. Ten seconds. And time. So let's grab the opposite weight. Stay where you are and how you are. Now, we're going to take this to a glute bridge hold. Bend the knees in. Bring your hips, core. Tighten the core up, bring the hips, tighten the glutes up. Let's go right to the chest press. To the top. Now, you're gonna keep the right leg bent. Walk the right leg back towards you a little bit. Give me that left leg extension. Keep the arms repping. Now you got one leg bent. One leg extended, hips loose off the ground, and switch. Hold the weight up. Switch legs. Go back to work on top. Quick reps. Don't let up off the arms. Elbows are slightly touching down to the ground. And switch. Hold that weight stationary. Drop that one leg. Send out two leg up. Go back to work. Yeah. These are what I like to call the money reps. Come on. And switch. Hold that weight up. Push the legs. Go to work. 20 seconds. Stay with that same side, stay with the same leg. Come on. 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop everything down. Relax, you go back to the top. Give you that one weight, you're going back to the top, straighten everything back out. You sit up, make that pass, boom, and slow. Now, even on this one, I'm even widening my arms up a little bit. Give me more of an even balance. When I go down, Keep everything open, even on the upper body. 20 second mark, and counting. That chest straight. Whee! 10 second mark. Give me this last one here. Move the clock to bring it out. Yeah. Find that other weight. Let's punch out ticket, go back to work. Once again, start off knees bent, with the arms moving. We'll start off with this formation and just follow my lead. Now walk that left leg, that left heel towards your blue hamstrings a little bit closer. Give me that right leg extended. Remember, quick arms, quick reps, and switch. Drop the right, extend the left. And switch. So when you're switching, make sure that leg that drops back down, that heel is as close to the hamstrings and glutes as possible. And switch, last rotation. The previous round, we finished off with 20 seconds to the right. This round, last call, we finished off 20 second countdown on the left. Keep moving, keep repping. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, right to the train. Look at that, 11.15. Time waits for no one. Now, let's make this a little bit more interesting, shall we? Let's utilize our body weight. Utilize the mat. We're going to do a push-up, lateral walk, down to the end of this mat, and coming back, all right? So that's what we're going to roll with for the time that we got allowed on the clock. Here's what I mean. You had hands on the mat. In. Everything stays even. Drop your head down. Don't try to look up. Put pressure on your neck or your shoulders. Keep the hands and wrists nice and straight. Walk all the way to the end of that mat. Don't let the legs beat the upper body. Meaning you're looking like a cartoon character where the body is starting to go. The lower half is starting to go before the top. Even Steven. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Relax. So, give me a quick stretch across the chest and back. We got two more laps. Two more laps. That was lap one. All right, here we go. Number two, two out of three. Right here, right now, starting the outside. Four. Loops, I'm just tighten everything up. That's why you're moving slowly instead of moving quick. Trying to get it out the way. Get that flow burn rotation in. 15 seconds. Even though the clock ran out, meet me at the end. Get down to the opposite end. Get there, get there, and relax. Give me another rotation across the chest and back. Rotate the arms out. Trying to get some mobility within your neck and your shoulders. We got one more lap. By the time we got on the clock, then we move on, on to the next. Let's work. Here now, we might as well endure the pain. Enjoy it and finish. That's all it is. Start a middle and an end point. You're almost at that end point. You just owe a little bit more work that you got to put in for yourself that can't nobody else do for you. That's the grind of it. That's all it is. 15 seconds. And time. Grab a quick drink if need be. Maybe back down on the mat, grab your weights. We got more work to put in. Just a little something, something. Ain't tough. All right. Here's what we got. We're going to do that good old fashioned V up into a chest lock. Here's what I mean. Back it up. We should touch together, come back down. Let's go out wide. Up, back down. Up, down. Up, those weights touch together, down. Lay the arms away. Up, down. Up, down. Up, hold. Ooh, you know about that hole, uh huh? Yeah, down. Relax. Woo -wee. Now, second move behind this. Keep both weights. Once you bend those knees in, roll back. Load the weights right where they are. Glue the feet, knees, legs together. Now, pull those arms up. Here's that isometric hold. I hold that weight stationary and I roll back just with the lower half. 20 seconds. Woo. 
Then, when we take it back to the top, come on, you almost hit that finish line. And time. All right. Try to roll out. Back shoulders a little bit. We're going to go back for a second lap. Well, I'll start you guys off with that V up. Bring the weights together. At some point, I'll go random hold. Keep your mind right. Work. Down. Up. Down. Time is 11.20. Uh, come on. We're almost there. Down. Up. Uh, breathe at the top. Down. Up. Uh, down. Up. Uh, here's where we hold. Come on. Hold what you got. Down. Woo! All right, hold that weight. Get those knees, feet glued together. Let's work. Roll back. Feet never touch the ground. Keep that momentum going backwards. Try to avoid going to the left or the right. Keep everything aligned up in between both of the weights. 20 seconds. Breathe easy and move. Ten. That's one. And time. And relax. Coming down a home stretch. All you need is one weight. Bring yourself to the push up position. All right. We're going to do a renegade row into a tricep extension. Stay with the same arm. Start off with the right arm until I say switch. This is really balanced. And stability, lock and load that core up. All right, lock and stand some feet. Let's work. Row and extend. Take it back. Row and extend. Keep that same plane of motion going. This is time. And relax. Drop down to the knees. Stretch out. Get some of that mobility back before we attack the opposite side. So I'm just going to turn and flip this way because I'm attacking the left side. When you're near a mirror, look at your checklist. Look to that checkpoint. Make sure you're not turned here or being lopsided. I'm taking away from the move. Drop to your core. And time, relax. Go back to the top. Let's go back to the opposite side. Come on, you almost did. Almost did. Woo what happens when you hold and you slow the pace down, time and attention. Woo. Yep. Come on. Relax. Ah. Then like that slow burn. You got 11. 1125. All the way live. Almost there. Come on. Get there. Bring it home. It's all about and the neck control and maintain. And relax. One more lap before we call it quits. One more. Take it back top. Right here, right now. We're back to that original side. Get a strong can go roll. Let's work. Come on. I know the matter. And time. Ooh. Going past that threshold. Nothing like it. 
You open up new doors that way. All right, last call, left side. Say a prayer. Let's work. Come on, almost there. You see the finish line? Just cross it. Run through it. Don't stop before. Don't stop at it. Run through the line. And time. Here it is. Woo! First stretch. Let's go into right away. I'll turn this way. Flaps down. Stretch the arms out. Relax the arms. Drop the head down. Continue to take those deep breaths. Exhale in, exhale out. Meanwhile, continue to hold that stretch. Last one. All right, you're going to sit tall on both knees. Bring that right leg, right foot forward. I want your that good lean out. Back, check. Up, tight, relax. Not up here. Relax the arms, relax the shoulders. And good job. Again, never, ever keep the cool down or your stretches at the end. Even if you go for a walk, it's a nice day. Felt good. You went for a 30 minute walk. Always leave time to stretch the end. Your body will thank you later. And relax. So, stay where we are. Kind of sit back. Kind of lean back just a little bit. And sit back up tall. Relax. We're going to do two more of those. Two more. And again, drop the glutes down towards the heels. Hands on the quads. Slightly lean back. Almost like the matrix. Back to the start position. Sit tall on the knees. Once again, drop back down to that drop set. Slowly, slowly. Arch, lean back. And relax. And that's time, guys. That's it. Class is adjourned. Thank you guys for showing up. Once again, another Monday. Again, in a week, another week, another day. I will see you guys. Next week. Thanks for joining. Great.